So, jinn comes, and uh, in, in a hadith, Rasulullah said that the, each person has an angel and he has a shaitan that comes within him. And the, the angel will give good thoughts and the shaitan will give bad thoughts. Okay, that is there. Now we've got shaitan coming in, but the shaitan doesn't stay if you do the dhikr of Allah. If a person does the dhikr of Allah, the shaitan can't stay. It's a clear cut matter. <coughs> Hadith in Tirmidhi says that when the Adhan is said, there's a very key thing to getting the Shaitan away from yourself or getting the Shaitan away from a particular place is Adhan. The Adhan, when the Adhan is said, the Shaitan feels as if his back is being broken. That's why he runs. When the, shayt- when the, when the Adhan is said, the Shaitan runs. When the Quran is being recited, the Shaitan finds it very difficult to stay there. Now, there are certain Shayateen certain devils that can slowly become immune to some of these things but it's very very difficult because what they do is they take the burning they take the burning element and they 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 you know withstand it and they withstand it until they can possibly get used to it it's almost like some human beings you can start to play with fire and you can get used to touching fire there's some people that could that can actually do that so the same way they can actually get used to do some of this. But it's very, very rare that they get used to being around you while you give them the adhan or being around you while you read the Quran. It is about, or, or what they do is sometimes that if they've had a very long influence with a the person, they can stay at far by, by far and still influence you from a, from a distance. But that, that's a serious case. Now, doing the dhikr of Allah, reading the Quran, doing the adhan and so on, these things will immediately move the shayateen immediately move them away from yourself.